Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. This is part two of anatomy of muscles in the pectoral girdle. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Starting with the first muscle, the supraspinatus. This muscle originates from the supraspinous fossa of the scapula and gets inserted to the top of the greater tubercle of the humerus. The muscle initiates the abduction of the arm. Let's have a look. So this is the point of origin, the supraspinous fossa. And this is the point of insertion to the top of the greater tubercle of the humerus. This muscle is the supraspinatus. Next muscle is the infraspinatus. As the name suggests, the muscle originates from the infraspinous fossa of the scapula and gets inserted to the back of the greater tubercle of the humerus. The action of the muscle is lateral rotation of the arm. Let's have a look. As you can see, this is the point of origin, the infraspinous fossa of the scapula. And this is the point of insertion, the back of the greater tubercle of the humerus. This muscle is the infraspinatus. With this, we complete all the muscles of the pectoral girdle, starting from the deltoids to the infraspinatus. So that is it for this video guys, don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram, links in the description.